Hey guys, and welcome back to the Family Fudge. Today we're headed to Costco. Almost thirty-five dollars. Can you believe it? <gasps> we're back home now, and here's what we ate. <laughs> the family fudge, the family fudge. They are mostly sweet but full of nuts. Now today's grocery haul is a little bit different because I only have my two youngest with me and I'm not getting things for our menu plan. I actually went through and wrote out all the recipes I wanna make for Christmas, all the special lunches, and that's what we're picking up today. So I need to go to Costco, to Walmart, and to Trader Joe's, and then when I get back home, I'll show you everything that I picked up. These guys are just finishing up their snack and then we're gonna get in the car. What'd you guys have for snack? Cookie! Cookies! But this guy wants another one. Do you need some more cookies? Yeah. <laughs> Bye-bye! I'm ready. Do you want to do the camera for me when I'm driving? Okay. Here you go. <laughs> okay guys, we made the Costco. It is getting dark. Yeah. And somebody's being grumpy. Are you grumpy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, Lily, do you remember the rules? No screaming, no crying, no running away, no stealing stuff, no falling over. Say <laughs> <laughs> hey, hi. Hi. <laughs> We're back home now and here's everything we got. Give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You wanna show us your favorite item? Yeah. What did you like the best? Hmm. These are my favorite. Ooh, Christmas Oreos? Mm -hmm. We got those because we're making the special Christmas lunches. Okay guys, so like Lily said, we're back home now. We have everything brought in from our shopping trip. It wasn't too bad, just me and the two little kids. Griffin did not stay grumpy the whole time, so that was nice. We did end up making it to Costco, then we went to Walmart, and then we went to Trader Joe's. And most of these things are for special recipes and videos. So I have special Christmas lunches, Christmas recipes, I also have Jackson's seventh birthday that I got things for, so this isn't the usual haul. Lots of baking things and stuff like that. So I'll go ahead and show you the stuff from Costco first, starting with the least glamorous item, which would be the kitchen trash bags. Not very exciting, but we definitely needed them. We also got some five cheese tortelloni. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'll know that we love this stuff. It comes with two separate pouches, and we'll actually freeze one for another time. We got some tortillas. These are the uncooked ones. I really like those. We got some oven roasted turkey for sandwiches this week. We also got some turkey breakfast sausage. These are fully cooked, quick and easy. We got another carton of eggs. We still have some of the eggs we bought last week, but these ones are specifically for baking. I got some of my almond milk. We also got some bananas, some more Brussels sprouts. We got two big packages of little Smokies. These are for Jackson's birthday. I'm gonna throw these in a crock pot with some barbecue sauce, quick and easy. Everybody loves them. I picked up two different things for my husband and I to try for dinners this week. This is the chicken coconut curry. And this one is uh, like a vegetarian curry. We've tried both of these um, as a sample and they were both really good. I don't think the kids will like them, but the adults will. Back over here, we got a big box of vitamin C. My husband has one of these packets like every day. And you guys, he like never gets sick. I get sick all the time. In fact, I just got over the flu, but he drinks these every day and they work for him. Of course, I'm not a doctor, so don't take my word for it. Anyway, we also got some cheese. We got some strawberry jam. The kids really like this jam, it's their favorite. And then, apparently I got some liquid gold because this thing of vanilla was $34, almost $35. Can you believe it? Can somebody please tell me why vanilla is so expensive now? I think I used to pay like 10 bucks for this, maybe 13, but now it's really expensive. 
I did check the price for vanilla at Walmart, and it turns out Costco does have a pretty good price. But yeah, I do think this is going to last me for quite a long time, though, because I haven't purchased vanilla in a while. So. so believe it or not, that's everything from Costco. So now I'll go ahead and show you everything from Walmart. And most of these things are for recipes and Christmas parties and birthdays. So kind of a lot of baking things in here, starting with some chocolate chips. These are the mini ones. We got some puff pastry sheets. I'm gonna attempt to make a French Canadian meat pie. I've never made it before, so cross your fingers for me. We got some zucchini, some turkey pepperoni. We got some winter Oreos. These are going into a special Christmas lunch I'm making. Way back over here, I got some sweet Hawaiian rolls. We got some paper napkins for the birthday party. I also picked up some onions for some different recipes this week. I also picked up some butter for some holiday baking, one salted and one unsalted. We got some fresh raspberries, some kiwis, the kids will love these. And we especially like this kind because it comes with a free kiwi spoon. The kids will love that. I think we have three or four of those hanging around our house somewhere. I also picked up a candle for Jackson's birthday, which is tomorrow. We got some candy melts for some special Christmas recipes. I got a red one and I got a white one. I would have purchased a green one, but they didn't have that. I might have to go to Michael's or Hobby Lobby to pick up the green. We got some flour. I almost never buy white flour, but this is gonna be needed for some cookies. We're gonna make some Christmas cookies. We got some sweetened condensed milk, some evaporated milk, some walnuts, Lots of marshmallows. I'm gonna be making lots of Rice Krispie treats and fudge, of course, all for Christmas parties. We got two bags of regular marshmallows and one of the fruity marshmallows. Some powdered sugar, some coconut flakes, some graham cracker crumbs. Normally I buy graham crackers and crunch them up myself, but I thought this would be a lot faster. And then the last thing I got from Walmart is a suit. I got Jackson a new suit for Christmas and for church. This came with four different pieces, the shirt, the vest, the tie, and the pants for $19.98, I believe, so it's not too bad. I think he's gonna look so handsome in it. Now moving right along to the things from Trader Joe's, I'll go ahead and start right back here with two boxes of the crisp rice cereal. Of course, these are gonna be going into some Rice Krispie treats. Can't wait for those, I love Rice Krispie treats. I also got three more cartons of the eggnog yogurt, definitely a seasonal treat around here. Then I got some of this pineapple juice. This is a not from Concentrate Pineapple Juice, and I've heard that this can really help if you have a sore throat or a cough, so I'm excited to give that a try. We got some orange juice, and we got some almond nog. I'm a big fan of eggnog, but I'm not a big fan of the calories in eggnog, so this one's a little bit better than regular eggnog. And you guys already know that I prefer almond milk, so I think this is gonna be pretty good. Back over here, I picked up some gingerbread molasses cookie dough. These are going into some special Christmas-themed lunches. I also got some gluten-free stuffing mix. I plan on making this for my husband on Christmas so that he can have some gluten-free foods just for him. I got some of this gingerbread spice granola. Never tried it before. It's one of those seasonal treats from Trader Joe's. So it's probably gonna be pretty good. I also stocked up on my pancake mix. I got one buttermilk pancake mix and one of the multigrain. I really like this one better, but the kids prefer this one. So I'm gonna make up a ton of pancakes, get them in the freezer for those hectic busy mornings. And I have a separate video on how I make my freezer pancakes. If you'd like to check that out, I will link it down below. I also picked up two bottles of kombucha, one for me, one for the husband. I also got two cans of Joe O's. The kids really like these, just like SpaghettiOs, but I think they're a little bit better. I got some pretzel slims, some of this beef and broccoli. We tried this last week for the first time. It's really good, but kind of spicy. We also picked up some of our favorite mandarin orange chicken. I love to have this in the freezer for a quick go-to dinner. We also got some breaded mozzarella cheese sticks. These are gonna be for Jackson's birthday party. We really like these. We don't get them very often, but they are very tasty. Also from Trader Joe's, I got some drinkable yogurt in the peach flavor. 
some of these cheesy tree crackers. These are so fun for Christmas. And I also got some of these soft bake gingerbread oat bars. We haven't tried these before, but since we're doing Christmas themed lunches, I thought these would be perfect. And then these guys, I've had my eye on these for quite a while, but I think I'm actually gonna make these and bring them to Christmas dinner. They sound really good. So I can try them, but then I can share them as well. So I won't be tempted to eat more than one. And last but not least, I also got some seasonal pasta. Trader Joe's makes really fun seasonal pasta. And I've never tried this one before. I think it's called Garganelli. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. But it looks like little candy canes. I think it is so cute. And I'm gonna serve this with this new kind of Alfredo sauce. This one's good because it's gluten-free, so my husband can eat it. He can't eat that, but he can eat this. I'll probably put his on some zucchini noodles. But anyway, this is the black truffle Alfredo sauce. I'm hoping that the kids will like it. We shall see. Okay friends, that's everything in our haul today. Let me know in the comments down below if you're planning on doing any holiday baking and let me know what you're going to make. I especially love those old family recipes. I love those most of all. Thanks for watching. See you next time.